When you have children with a narcissist or you're trauma bonded with them or you're financially trapped in a relationship with them, the most obvious question that you could potentially think of asking is, isn't there a way to get along with a narcissist? The short answer to that is no. But why? What are the reasons behind not being able to get along with a narcissist? The reasons will be our focus in today's episode. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional and today's episode is going to be all about understanding five reasons why you cannot get along a narcissist. If you are new to the channel, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel by pressing the subscribe button and push the bell icon to stay updated with everything latest that I post over here. So let's get started with the reason number one. No matter what you do, it is never going to be enough for a narcissist. Imagine or think of narcissists like a vessel with a hole in the bottom. No matter how much you pour into it, no matter how many things you put in it, it's all going to get drained away ultimately. And the narcissist would make you think and believe that it's your problem because the vessel is not getting filled up. But the real problem is with this vessel, it's with the narcissist. No matter how much you give, no matter how many things you do for the narcissist, no matter how many things you sacrifice for them, no, man, no matter how many efforts you put in the, into the relationship, nothing is going to be ever enough for this person. So therefore, you are going to waste your time, your life, your efforts, everything that you have to offer for someone who doesn't have the capacity to take it in. Reason number two, they will get worse with time. Many people think or assume that maybe children or time will change this person. Maybe the external circumstances will break them and will, you know, connect them with their core. But none of it happens in 99.9% .9 of the cases. The only thing that ends up happening is that this person gets worse with time. And that is what you are destined to experience if you stay with a narcissist on the long-term basis. Their abuse is going to become 10 times more worse. The way they treat you is going to get worse with time. A time could potentially come in a relationship where they wouldn't even think of or even consider showing you that good side, side of them. The only side that you would get to see is the dark side, where they would be openly cheating on you, betraying you, lying to you, treating you as if you don't matter and still not care about it. So that is the reason number two why you cannot stay with the narcissist and just think that maybe with time things are going to change. Before we move to reason number third, I'm curious to know where you are in the relationship with the narcissist. Have you already left? Are you still wondering if there are ways to make it work? What's going on? Drop your experiences in the comments below and probably you would find other people talking about the same thing and you might feel validated, you might feel heard. So go right away and drop your experiences in the comments below. So let's move to the reason number third. You will lose yourself in the process of staying. You need to understand that a narcissist is quite parasitic, at least that personality style is. And the way they treat you is quite predatory. For them, you're nothing more than, uh, than an object that they can use, that they, that they can take advantage of and finally throw away when they're done with you. Therefore, you will keep giving in the relationship, you will keep spending your time and decades would go on and ultimately a time would come you would feel you have lost yourself or you, you would feel like you have become a shell with emptiness and hollowness and bitterness within. Some people even have said that they, they felt that they turned into a narcissist at a certain point in their life with the narcissist because the abuse got worse to the extent that they start reacting. They started reacting to the narcissist the same way they were being treated by the narcissist. This is what could potentially happen, not potentially, but it's almost, I can predict it already and tell you that this is your future. If you were to stay with a narcissist on a long-term basis, you're going to lose your sanity. You're going to lose your capacity to give, your capacity to be compassionate, be empathetic. All of that would be vanished away. And even if you were to leave the relationship at that point, 
I am really sorry to say, but probably it wouldn't matter. It would not matter at that point. Reason number four, you will lose your children. Many people stay thinking, well, if I leave, would it be, maybe it would not be a good decision for my children. I am uh, staying in the relationship, at least that they would have the other parents' presence in their life and so on. But least they know that with this good intention, they are doing an unintentional damage to their children. Because the children would eventually grow up to be either narcissists or codependents themselves. And why wouldn't they be? Because they have experienced chronic abuse and trauma in the environment that they lived in. This environment that was filled with adversities. This environment where they, where they got to experience extreme form of psychological torture because of this parent's presence. So you are eventually going to lose a relationship with them as well because believe me or not, some children blame you for overstaying the relationship, for not making the right decision, the right choice. Probably right now, if they are young, they might not understand why you're doing what you're doing, but at the end, truth prevails and they see the light. They see the reasoning behind your decision and then they are thankful because you saved them from so much potential destruction and traumatization. So that is the point number four, which leads us to point number five. They won't get along with you even if you were to get along with them. Now, one of the ways of staying with a narcissist is continuously giving, fawning, doing what they want you to do without speaking a word, without expressing your feelings, your thoughts, your beliefs, your who you are as a person, just killing that essence that, that makes you up as a human being. They would find problems in you even if you were to become your greatest version possible. Because again, Coming back to the point number one, nothing is ever enough for a narcissist, so there is no point in trying to get along with them because they cannot get along with you. That is the point. No matter how much you fawn, no matter how much you give, try, put yourself you know, as a second option, put yourself back and do whatever they want you to do, you still will not be able to sustain some kind of connection that you could possibly feel with them temporarily but it is not sustainable. I hope today's episode was helpful and you were able to understand why you must leave and not stay and why you cannot get along with a narcissist no matter what you do. I'll talk with you very soon. Till then, let the healing begin.